Let's talk a little bit now about the actual elemental phosphorus and potassium levels in fertilizers because we've learned that that guaranteed analysis always represents percent nitrogen, percent phosphate, and percent potash by weight. But of course, the nutrients that the plant is interested in working with is going to be the actual phosphorus and the potassium. And there's some constants, some numbers that we always use in order to address this issue. And so we'll say we've got a 5105 material that constant for phosphorus, for the conversion of phosphate to phosphorus, is 0.44. So a 10% phosphate product times 0.44, that's going to give us 4.4. This material is actually 4.4% phosphorus by weight. And the constant for potash to convert to potassium is 0.83. So 5 times 0.83 is roughly 4.15 percent K. So this fertilizer 5105 actually is 5 percent nitrogen, 4.4 percent phosphorus, and 4.15 percent potassium. These are calculations that you probably won't have to make but do check your soil test recommendations because sometimes they are provided in units of elemental phosphorus and elemental potassium. Now Let's clear the screen and I'll show you just how we work with this in the real world. If we have, in some of our previous examples, we had determined that there was an application requirement of 400 pounds of 510.5 to the acre that was being applied and that was intentionally being done in order to deliver what was 40 pounds of phosphate per acre. That was the recommendation that came from the soil test. Now what we just learned was with this material 40 pounds of phosphate and using that constant of 0.44 40 times 0.44 equals 17.6 pounds of phosphorus is actually being applied per acre. Okay, And then 400 pounds of 5105 being applied per acre, well 400 times 0 0.05 and this applies for both nitrogen and potash because both of them are 5 percent. That gave us levels of 20 pounds of nitrogen and K2O per acre. So we don't do anything with the nitrogen number because it's represented to 100 percent of uh, what it says it is. But with the potassium level, remember we've got a constant here of 20 pounds of potash times 0 0.83 and 20 times 0.83 to convert it to elemental K is 16.6. So that fertilizer would be delivering an actual 16.6 pounds of elemental potassium per acre. So I hope that makes sense. And again, you can work these things backwards. Uh, obviously, 16.6 divided by 0.83 gives you 20. 17.6 divided by 0.44 gives you 40. So just be aware of it that in some cases there are recommendations based on elemental P and potassium, but in most cases your soil test recommendations will be given in units of phosphate and potash.